All right, guys, welcome back. We today, well, we have a what was that? What was that? Uh, what was that storm thing that came through? What was that called? Yeah, they can't even remember. Well, the tropical storm. There was a tropical storm that came through. Yeah. Anyway, the tree fell over, hit a power line or power pole, and just knocked it over pretty good. So. Um, power company didn't really seem to be in any big hurry to come out and fix it so anyway long story short we are cutting a huge tree up today and we may kill ourselves so it should be fun he's putting a new chain on his uh, saw and I bought a Husqvarna 435 and we're gonna crank it up for the first time and see how see how they compare to each other but we can look at the tree and kind of see it here right now don't know when it happened um the storm was already over with and this wasn't like this so sometime after the storm i guess that tree just got super weak or something and anyway you see the power poles in the pine tree and you can see the ground here well you guys may or may not be able to tell it came up uh, yeah you can see Maybe a little bit better there, how that, that pulls just straight over. And so this is the big tree that we'll be cutting up with our two little saws. See if, yeah. Yep. So I suppose maybe it has been rotten out and just finally tipped over. But it's a pretty good size saw or tree. So we'll see how our two little saws compare. And uh, he has a, actually a bigger one. He has an 18 inch. Well, he has an 18 inch bar on his. The motor's a little bit bigger than his. But I've heard good things about Husqvarna. So anyway, uh, we're gonna get them started up and see what happens. All right, you wanna start yours up first? Yeah, you can. All right, well, hopefully you guys can see. It'll be the first start of uh, Husqvarna 435. I guess he called this cold crank. <laughs> You know, prime her up, huh? All right, choke on. So I guess there's nothing left to do but crank her up. Oh, don't do that. So you just crank yeah. it up. I'm just holding your hand. Like, oh, you guys are not going to see. one started right up but it had been started before Husqvarna never been started so well I turned it off accidentally all right well I guess we're gonna let these bad boys warm up for a little bit and then we're we're going to cutting boys all right well as soon as we uh, did our awesome cold starts and they both fired right up now the blue one doesn't want to run anymore, which is our typical luck. So I guess we're going to fart around with that for a little bit and get it fixed and then go cut wood. So yeah, we'll see what happens. You crank her up again. It ran real good yesterday. And it ran good when we had the camera on the first time. And then as soon as this one started up, that one wouldn't start anymore. So our big saw doesn't work now. For now. We'll see. It yeah, maybe it will. Kind of this Chinese piece of junk anyway. Yep. Yeah. Chinese. Chinese saws. Blue Max from Home Depot. Work it, Justin.
It's good motion you got going. Pretty smooth. You know what? They may have just a, a mouse in the carburetor. It's I, I think it's that. out now. Lumberjacks. Ugh. Hopefully that pole don't fall over. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can hear me or not, but we pretty much just got the tree laying up on the wires right now that are live. So we may die. I don't know. Thinking if we cut it up over here somewhere, that should take most of the weight off the wires. We can't get up any higher. And we're down to one saw because the blue one over there won't work. So buckle up. If we have no idea if we're, what's going to happen. Go on the other side now. Gosh, dude, this is so sketchy. I tell you, I thought we were gonna die there for about two seconds. So, uh, the tree's down, the power pole's intact, and we didn't die. Lines are jiggling a little bit. Yeah, everybody should still have power. Well, hey, that might have been one of the dumbest things we've ever done. Actually, I probably was. Well, I mean, but when you call Duke I mean, Energy, you wait four days for them to come out, and yeah, the pole's possibly gonna tip over. Yeah, you call Duke Energy, they're like, well. 
oh well. And the power pole continues to lean further into the tree and out of the ground. And the power pole that they just replaced. I mean, I can't believe that tree, not even hitting the pole, hitting a wire, knocked that pole out of the ground that far. Well, now they just gotta come reset their pole. Yep. And see if we have power. Yeah, yeah, let's go see if we have power real quick. Wow. We either don't have power and everyone else is mad because we just knocked That it. was in, I, dude, when I heard that thing snap, yeah, me too. I was like, oh God, and there's nothing you can do. Nope. And then that big part just started dangling there. I was like, oh, it's coming down. The whole line's good coming thing, down. Good thing I got underneath of it sometimes. That yeah. was probably a stupid walking underneath <laughs> yeah. of it. Wow. Still on. Didn't even go out. Still got power. Right, so we and didn't we didn't up. die. We didn't die and we didn't screw up. <laughs> I tell you what, I thought for sure for a minute we were dead. I did too. That was retarded. Yeah, now we just gotta clean everything up. So that was that was retarded. But hey, that's typically what we do, so thank god we didn't die. So I guess we're gonna clean everything up and uh we'll catch back with you later. Wow. Well, quick update here, guys. Uh, I guess to end the video, uh, we just got to work the Blue Max chainsaw ended up pooping out on us. It didn't cut anything at all. Don't know what's wrong with it. The Husqvarna did amazing. It chopped up that little 435. Probably wasn't made to do all this, but chopped all this stuff up. Well, obviously, have to cut this up smaller, but we got a few piles of tree branches here and uh, and uh goes by. yeah as you can see there is no tree here anymore there's where it was and where it broke see it had been rotting away that wind and that storm just took it down the rest of the way but anyway that sun's not too bad can tell power pole still there the lines are still there and uh yeah so we had to burn some of this stuff one day and uh take the rest of the wood down to my place and that'll be that but that little chainsaw did good and uh yep so anyway thanks so much for watching guys if you haven't please uh subscribe and leave a comment below and uh, we'll catch you next time bye